Hello everybody, this is Kevin. I'm going to be unboxing Star Trek's customizable card game Mirror Mirror today. I wanted to start doing this because I noticed there's a lot of people who've put up customizable card games from the late 90s, early 2000s, and this happens to be one of my favorite card games that came out at the time. This box is about 16 years old. It features 40 common, 40 uncommon. 20 rare, 30 rare plus, and 1 ultra rare, which is Spock, so we hope to get that today. Um, anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and go through the full pack on a few of them, and then we'll just go ahead and look for those rares after that. So let's get started. Excuse the poor quality, it is a bad camera. <laughs> I have been a fan of Star Trek pretty much my entire life. I'm really into the next generation Deep Space Nine as well, so we'll go ahead and take a look here. Gotta love that fresh unboxing. Go ahead and do the display here. And of course the rule sheet. I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to start with the first three on top. So. There are 11 cards per pack. Let's see what we get. And no, don't ask me to read the names because I am terrible at pronouncing some of these. Professor Sisko is going to be our first rare out of the box, though. Not too bad. And it's a mixture of commons and uncommons in this pack. So, unlike other sets, you don't have a set amount of commons and uncommons, which is okay. You gotta love those Bajoran wormholes. And it looks like our rare is gonna be the fifth card in the pack. And this one here is Chief Surgeon McCoy. Gotta love that. Show you the rest of them here. And again, sorry about the poor focus. Pack number three. And if it takes a little longer, it's just because I'm savoring the moment. So we already know our rare is the fifth one in. I love the later sets. I mean, the game got a little complicated later on, but it is still a really awesome set. And it looks like Marlena Maru is going to be our rare out of this pack. Pull that up for you guys. I was always partial to playing the Dominion or the Borg when this game was at its peak. Let's pull up the next three packs. This will be the last one we go through them all. Lots of nice Cardassians there. Looks like Transporter Chief Kyle's are uncommon. And Mr. Cork is our rare. I love it. 
Gotta love those Ferengis. And like I said, the commons and uncommons are pretty much in no particular order, but you can see we're starting to duplicate now, so... From here on out, we're just going straight for the rares. One thing that's nice is they have uh, dual affiliation cards that are not necessarily rare in this set. And the Kelvin Show of Force is going to be our rare. Not everyone can be a personnel card or a famous ship. Two, three, four, and five. I do like some of the artwork on these non-personal cards. The Art Diplomacy is a really, really good card. I play it frequently when I played, just to get my cards out a little faster. Move on to the next three. And if you're wondering the order I'm taking out of the box, it's left, middle, right. And Mr. Brunt is our rare. Let's take a look at that for a second. Ferengis were real fun to play if you played with the rules of acquisition. And the expansion, of course. This is the second set I'm trying to collect now. I already pretty much completed my premiere set and decided this would be the next set I go on to just because it's the one I hold the most memories with as a child. And the Hawking Cancels are rare. Again, sorry about the potato quality there. I was expecting this package to come a few days from now, so I was pleasantly surprised that it was early. So thank you to CCG Castle for sending that in in a prompt manner. That was really awesome. And Fontaine. Ooh, gotta love Fontaine. Hologram character on Deep Space Nine. He's not a hologram in this set. He's just got the unique marker right there in the upper left hand corner, that little star next to his name. I am hoping for things like the Intendant or Overseer Odo in this set. If you guys want any information on Star Trek CCG, I would recommend going to the Continuing Committee. It's the site that is still keeping this game going after all these years. Of course, they're not printing the cards anymore. But you can still find out information about old expansions that were printed. And they're still continuing to make cards, even to this day, that you can digitally download. Which is really awesome. That's how I've been able to play still for so long. centered here for you guys 
And it's Mr. Tuvok. Gotta love Voyager. He's also in Star Trek Generations for a brief moment. Love that card. And on to the next pack. This is a bunch of nostalgia all wrapped up into nice 11 card packs for me. And we got the Regency 1, which if you guys all watched Deep Space Nine, was Worship in the Mirror Universe. Let's check that out for a second. Really decent card. Next one. I think we're pretty close to halfway through on this box. Like I said, I'm going to take my sweet time opening this up, kind of savor the moment. And Rook. For all those who are curious, he played Lurch on the Adams Family, and you could tell in his flavor text right there, mysterious and spooky. They kind of made a shout out to that right there. Gotta love those little hidden Easter eggs. Next three packs here. And if you're curious, I do keep the boxes for collector purposes. Most of these cards are going to go in my set. However, I do play the game still, so I will be using some, of course, in my decks. And Ezri. Of course, the Mirror Universe uh, Ezri decks. She's not an Ezri Dax, obviously, in this one. She has no symbiote in the Mirror Universe. He says as he's nerding out over the cards. On to the next one. Once I start getting close to completion of a set, I generally leave one pack unopened just for nostalgia purposes and just remember for myself what they looked like when they were unopened. And we have the man himself, Mr. James Tiberius Kirk from the Mirror Universe. Gotta love it. There he is in all his glory. All his downloads and Attributes. Love it. Get it more focused there. Perfect. So, so far we're getting a pretty decent haul out of this box. Of course, I'm still looking for First Officer Spock. Nothing would make me happier than to get that. Uh, I don't have the best luck of pulling Ultra Rares out of boxes. This is one of the sets that started bringing back Ultra Rares, Tribbles, Tribbles was the first set to do it, brought back first off to McCoy, in honor of Dr. McCoy when he died, uh, well, not Dr. McCoy himself, but to Forrest Kelly, and this was the next set to have an Ultra Rare, I believe, and Mr. Rom is our Rare for this pack, so far we're pulling some pretty decent Rares out of here. I'm hoping one of these days I can pull out an ultra rare. Maybe it's today. 
And if not, hey, I can't complain. We have about nine packs left after these three, so 12 packs to go. And Whitehead Herp seems to be a really easy one to get for a non-common. I've had a few of them already come out of these packs. And a fast ship would be nice as our rare. Number two out of the set. But then again, nothing too exciting right there. Let's move some of this trash out of the way. I will be opening all the cards out of this pack because I box so uh, because I have not made a complete set with this box just yet. Focus. There we go. All right, and the next pack. And Commander Chavnik. Well, Chavardek, sorry. Told you I'm not good at pronouncing those names. <laughs> is it rare out of this set? There's not very many Romulans in this expansion, and there is one Borg, and I don't think any Dominion. So we won't be seeing any Dominion come out of here, but I have a friend who's a serious fan of Romulans. Hopefully, he's going to be a little jealous about that one. <laughs> So it looks like we've got nine packs to go here. At the very least, I got a James Tiberius Kirk. I can't really complain out of this box. And Amir Teragnor, another one I was hoping for, so I'm pretty happy about that one there. Get a look at that. It is double-sided. I love the double-sided cards. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Well, you have a normal back, generally, with these ones. That would be the normal back right there. With this one, it does not have a back. It has a Cardassian version of the same card. Gotta love it. Pretty happy about that. And I was, I'm standing corrected here. There is a Dominion card in here. It's the Hanst Attack Ship. And I know it's an uncommon card there, but figured I'd throw it out. You know, when I make a mistake, I own up to it. So I figured I'd show you, hey, this is a mistake I made. <clears throat> All right. And like I said, sorry for the long length of the video. Again, I'm just kind of enjoying these packs. They don't come around that often anymore. They are getting harder to find, especially full boxes. They are relatively cheap still. This one here only cost me about 16 bucks. And I had Amazon gift cards, so. And another Chief Surgeon McCoy, so I have one up for trade as well. Not a bad duplicate to get. Not a bad duplicate at all. I will not complain about that in the least. Pretty sweet. All right, here we go with this pack. And 
and Luvarin. See, I told you I was wrong about that Dominion. Pretty decent one to get. If you're in the Dominion and you played that back in the day. I would have loved to have that. I like the May Report to enhance attack ship on there. Love it when you can just automatically report it anywhere on a space line. That's awesome. It makes things a lot easier if you're a mission hound or you just like to attack. And who doesn't like to attack? Come on, honestly. <laughs> Alright, three more packs. And it looks like we've got nine more to go. This time I'm going to open left, middle, right. And the ISS Enterprise, I got the captain and her ship. That is pretty sweet. Constitution class there. Get it to focus, maybe. There we go. And download any personnel who's original series and alliance. Is it alliance? Nah. But, it is nice to have that. So even if I'm not looking like I'm going to get a first officer Spock, at least I'm going to get some of the harder to get cards. And that's pretty awesome. I can't complain about that at all. But you never know. We still have eight more packs, including this one I'm opening. So, anything can happen. We got two Chief Surgeon McCoys, so definitely anything can happen. And Thomas Paris. Looks like we're getting the Voyager crew pretty good here. Get it to focus there for a second. Gotta love that. Give you the flavor text and its skill set. Make convert to honor for the rest of the game. That's gonna be really nice. And this is before the Voyager expansion came out. So there wasn't very many Voyager named cards just yet at this point there's gonna be lots of them when it comes to like Voyager and the Borg you get to play the K's on and the Vidian and Mr. Cisco. of course D Space Nine's gonna be here I mean Kira's featured in the upper left hand corner of the box gotta love it though There we go with that. Six more to go. Do a little more cleanup. So far, a pretty decent haul. Can't complain. I've got a lot of really good rares out of this so far. You know, with 51 rares, you, you hope to get something decent anyway. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, and the Terran Rebellion HQ. Alright. Not a bad card if you play. It's a headquarters card. Flavor text and obviously what it does. Alrighty. Let's move on. We know we're all looking for the meat now. Two, three, four, five. And the intendant. Yes. 
That is one I definitely wanted to get out of this set. 